This week, we read about the Exodus. We finally read about how the Jews, after 210 years of slavery, were granted freedom to become a nation after the plague of the firstborn, the tenth of the ten plagues. The process to freedom comes with tremendous responsibility. The Jewish people were told that the reason they're becoming free is to become a nation, to become a people, but also to carry a message from God. They're going to meet at Mount Sinai, and there they're going to become servants of Almighty God. So the question is, what's this freedom to become servants again? If they're becoming servants to God, why could they just continue being slaves to Pharaoh? What's the difference between being slaves to Pharaoh and being servants to Almighty God? But obviously, there's a huge difference. Slaves to Pharaoh is slaves to a human being, with a narcissistic, self-centered human being who wants us to wants to crush our spirits and limit us. Servants to Almighty God uplifts us, makes us free, makes us infinite. We were given a message, we were given a gift, a, a plan how to become free, a plan how to, how to leave the constraints of our body, constraints of our materialism, to, to soar high to a spiritual realm. And we've been carrying this message for 3,000 years. Next Wednesday is the 10th of Shvat. And it's the day that the previous Chabad Rebbe passed away and the Rebbe took over, Rabbi Schneerson took over of the Chabad movement and expanded it exponentially. It was a very difficult time after the Holocaust when most of the Jews were immigrants, the United States were immigrants. They were having, they lost their families. We were broken homes. And hope was somewhat lost, really lost. And the Rebbe guided us. The Rebbe inspired. The Rebbe gave us hope and told us, just like Moses in his time, gave the Jewish people hope and showed us that in the land, in the free land of the United States, we could actually flourish and bring out the spirituality. We shouldn't be swayed and downcast by the lack of connection to the old world because the new world brings it a tremendous opportunity. And the Rebbe was very successful creating all these centers around the world, encouraging, inspiring people not to give up faith, but to continue doing the right thing, continue Judaism, continue flourishing in Judaism, expanding Judaism to, until we get to the ultimate redemption with Mashiach, which should come speedily in our days. And as you can see behind me, our wall in the sanctuary with the Jerusalem stone is being erected right now, a little part of Jerusalem in our beloved, beloved sanctuary in Santa Fe. Hopefully we'll be able to come by soon and see it all completed and see this building completed and used. Shabbat Shalom.